All of a sudden, I'm doing politics, which was not my forte. I'm just a, a general assignment anchor, and I kind of did everything. Really, because that's where all the action is, right? I have to develop that muscle, and I have. I, sometimes I swear I can't keep up with it, and I'm going to show you how I keep up with it. And this is what we call the fact check files. We put them here like this is um, Devin Nunes in the Justice Department, and I have the scope of the special counsel because people will come on and say the special counsel is going beyond the scope, and then I'll have to read what the scope is, and then they'll say, well, it's a witch hunt and nothing has come out of it, and then I'll say, well, all of these people have been indicted. What do you mean nothing has come out of it? The segments we have, we pick the ones that we need. So if I need something on ZTE, yeah. I have that. If I need it on the Qatari investor, I have that. When you have an administration and a president that's factually challenged, you have to get your facts straight and you have to be on your game because every it, it all matters. It matters for not only the moral fabric of the country, but also to have an informed electorate. And so, he, you know, he says fake news, but what has been fake? Mm -hmm. Most of the things that we report, it turns out to be true. Tell me broadly, what's it like to cover this administration? <sighs> it, uh, honestly, it's exciting, but it's exhausting. Right. I feel like I'm cramming for an exam every single day. So Donald Trump attacks the media, right. and, and more specifically CNN, he, he's, but he very rarely attacks specific reporters except for you and a couple others. Why you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he said some very unkind things <laughs> about you, Don. Why do you think? Why do you think? Well, I mean, he generally punches at something that's bothering him or that he, he feels like is yeah. threatening him or... Yeah. My feelings about this president have been known. I've said it on the air. You know, I think that he has, he's racist. I think his actions show it, I think the facts show it. Does he attack me for that reason? I don't know, that could be part of the equation. But I think he does it because he watches every night, he'll say that he doesn't. He likes hearing about himself from a number of different people in real time. And that's what my show is. He knows what Sean is gonna say. He knows what, you know, everyone on Fox is gonna say. And I don't really think MSNBC matters to them. Not that they don't matter, but I think to him, yeah. because it's so far left, and I don't think that matters to him. And so you think he is watching? I know he's watching. Mm -hmm. I know. I every, know. Single, every single person who goes to the White House, comes on the show, will say, I was at the White House today, I was at the White House yesterday, the president watches you every single night. But you're dumb as a rock. I'm, I'm dumb as a rock. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, I'm the dumbest man in broadcasting. Or the dumbest man on television. On television, yeah. yeah. As I said, Whatever he says, it's the opposite. Dumb people usually don't do two hours a night in prime time. There's that.